Yesterday, 82 degrees. That marked the 10th day in a row of 80 or more in the month of September. Today will be 11. By the time this whole thing is said and done, we're looking at 14 days. That would be the longest stretch, at least we've seen in history here. Uh, Alan's been looking back every decade. It's been kind of his personal pet project. He's gotten back to the 1930s, and the longest stretch he's seen is 10. So uh, today would break that. 14 would really fly by that. You would think with all these warm temperatures that we would be setting records when it comes to the average September temperature. Now, this average temperature is to take the high and the low together, divide by two. First part of the month was pretty chilly. We kind of forget that because we've been in this long stretch for a while. But we're pretty much right on key with where we should be. Now, we've got four more days of 80 degrees, and then we've got a bunch of 70s. So who knows where we're going to end for the rest of the month. Probably still a little bit above average, but maybe not record setting. This could be record setting, though. The lack of rainfall, 0 0.06 inches of rain. At this point, we usually have two inches of September rain. We are now at a two inch deficit for the month and a one inch deficit for the year and only a few chances to see some rain over the next couple of days, next seven days, really. This is one of those chances right here. Now, this is a stretch of some stronger weather, which is likely to cause some severe weather back out to our west. So there is a severe weather threat back to the west for us. That's likely to impact us as we head into Friday. It could be a rumble of thunder later in the afternoon on Friday. We're going to say fr uh, Friday late afternoon, evening and Friday. Friday night. We could see a couple of showers, but again, perhaps a couple of rumbles of thunder in spots around the state. That's Friday night up near Alpena. Some passing rain showers Friday, break Saturday, Sunday mostly dry, but then Sunday night into Monday arrives our first chance of some prolonged rain, which honestly my lawn kind of needs. <laughs> Temperatures in the 80s right now or in the 80s later today. We're in the 70s right now, climbing up to the 80s. Again, that's going to be the 11th day in a row. Some sunshine after that fog lingered a little bit early this morning. We'll check the next seven days with these temperatures remaining in the 80s through Saturday, Sunday. By the way, Sunday marks the arrival of fall. Later Sunday, some showers are possible. Monday rain and then some Tuesday uh, lingering showers there as we see those numbers fall down in the middle 70s. The start of fall, but uh, no fall temperatures there. No, and certainly not with those lows. Uh, yeah. When when you think fall, you kind of think crisp mornings mm -hmm. and then afternoons that are comfortable, but no crisp mornings in the seven-day forecast. I don't